Hello, my name is Christophe Fleving. I'm Vice President of Engineering for Four Winds. Today we're going to present you the new Sundowner 265. So we have redesigned this Sundowner lineup. We have a 215, a 235, and a 265. These boats are definitely great for days boating, and you can also sleep aboard. So it's a combination of both words. You can wakeboard, you can really enjoy the day-to-day -day operations, and at the same time, stay a little bit longer during the weekends. The new Sundowner product has been designed in parallel to the Horizons boats. So we shared some same concept, similar hull, similar designs, same features, same windshield, for example. These two products reflect the future of four winds and definitely have a strong identity you will be able to recognize everywhere on the water. In less than two years, we have bring to the market six new Horizons and three new Sundowners with a lot of different variations from OB to IOs, RS, SS, luxury packages. We have a brand new offering of product that will make you very successful and us at the same time. We have high hulls and relatively small decks that give the boats a lot of room inside, but still look sleek and elegant. The sun donors have been designed like a cruiser. You have equipment like in a cruiser. This is a good example over there, the anchoring system an anchor roller, stainless steel anchors, and a windlass is offered as an option and definitely dress up that boat the way it should be, equipped like a cruiser. The windshield, very automotive, very sporty, exclusivity of four winds design. You have these massive hulls and relatively small decks that give that appearance of strength and the inflection point that you find on every new four winds. It's a design style that will define the lineup the low profile swim platform is following the waterline and we can see those distinctive features, the stable V design, which is a specificity of four winds running surface. You want to be there. You want to have your kids swimming around. You have to, you definitely want to have that low profile swim platform. We equip them with the beautiful ladders, very deep ladders, four steps. As you can see, the deepest ladders in the market. So it's an easy reach up and down. And we feel this element is a key features of the new Horizons and Sundowners design. Beautiful sun pad, large, very comfortable. And look at that. You tilt the backrest, you have a passage over there, a support, and here we go. A very large, long, and relaxing sun pad. Important feature in the back of the sun pad, you can tilt the back. You have three elements, rope storage for lines, an access for, st for storage and a bag. The bag is removable, that way you store little things. I never do boating with my shoes. This is the first purse. The back of the boat also is equipped with very large recessed cleats, so you can tie the boat in the back. Remote control for the radio with speakers as an option. And you have a shower, so you can really use it on the swim platform. Storage and coolers under the main seats. Storage on a port side with a back concept again with two levels of storage. Storage again over the engine room with a net to hold the elements stored in that bag. Additional storage under the port seats, coming pad storage. The engine room on the S265 is pretty large and you have a full access to the engine from both sides up front. We have this back concept that you can remove if needed, to completely access the top of the engine. We are very proud to offer a line of engines from Volvo Penta and Mercruiser. Strictly V8 engines for that new uh, S265. This one is equipped with a V8 380, very smooth power and new engines from Volvo Penta that give you speed and great acceleration. This is designed like a cruiser. It's a very large cockpit, a lot of space inside. As you can see, we move each side of the boat to the maximum we could. And you can really see a lot of people using the captain shears also to complete that L-shaped design. The tricks in the cockpit design is to push the wall on each side of the boat. We achieved that approach is having that very tall hull sides, relatively low deck, so we can really push each corner of the boat and gain maximum space inside the cockpit. The beam inside is bigger than ever for the four winds lineup. 
The deck of these Sundowners is all molded in a giant mold. It's all integrated. You can see all the seatings are made in one shot with the floor. So you have a fiberglass floor, which is very reliable, very strong, very easy to clean, and we have a great draining system. So the water will get out and you can clean your boat very efficiently. We have added gutters, water deflectors, and draining uh, system everywhere in the boat. You have a good example over there. The gutters over the engines to make sure the water doesn't go over your engines. In the cockpit of this S265, we offer this galley. Hot plate, sink, water, drink holders, outlet, an electrical system that includes a battery chargers and can uh, be matched with the microwave inside the cabin, and this fridge. Equipment you only find in real cruisers. So that dress up your sundowners ready for a good weekend. So we have a wood countertop. It is in fact made in bamboo, a very trendy material. You will find some bamboo inside the boats that create that connections from the interiors to the cockpit. The combination TV and DVD players, you can see the DVD on the side, which is offered inside the cabin, can also be used on the cockpit galley. You are a click away from installing the TV system and watch your sport events, your videos, and your movies. So you imagine now, you link this entertainment system and this very nice uh, camper canvas all around the boat, and you have a very nice cruisers to uh, stay aboard, spend your weekends, and more. Definitely a very well-equipped cuddy. The dash design, very important in this Sundowner 265. Same design than the Horizon series. You can see all the features, the command centers, a new touchscreen uh, system for four winds, beautiful switches, a lot of features, very nice ergonomical design. The dash and the console are made in fiberglass. It's rigid and it's, as you can see, uh, dressed up with very luxurious elements, stitches and uh, definitely a lot of nice parts. In the middle, you have a running door system that gives us that opportunity, that design, which is, which is typical to the new Sundowners. The captain chair, very comfortable, can tilt and extend the comfort of your cockpit. The front of the boat, as a cuddy, is very usable also for four winds. You have these three hatches so that give you fresh air and good light inside. A step concept that gives you access, easy access to the front where you could have a Dexon pad. Let me show you how it works. Starboard parts, two stainless steel steps that can be used by themselves, or you can add this filler in the middle to ease the comfort, and then you can go up and down very easily. So these Sundowners is, are not bow riders, they are cutties. And we made this front of the boat, the deck, very usable. You can walk, as you can see, you can have a sun pad, you have good handrails to secure your movement, great access to the, storing, the anchoring system, and definitely a very walkable, usable part of this new Sundowners design. Exclusive door design for the Sundowners. In fact, the parts are coming from Germany. You open that door and here we go. A very large cabin interiors. Impressive for a Cuddy. Now we are in the cabin. It's a Cuddy cabin, a cabin that's really look like a cruiser, honestly. Made with the same material we do, or cruisers at Four Winds. Same vinyl, same fabrics, same details, some attentions to everything. It's the beautiful fi finish on the ceiling, to the lights, the mini kitchens with a microwave, and the completely enclosed head. You are in a cruiser. It's a cuddy, but it's a cruiser at the same time. Lights and air are critical on a cuddy. You have three skylights. Two of them are opening, a very big round one in the front and a side one on the corner. You have also two hatches on each side of the boats for fresh air. So a lot of ventilation, a lot of air. The breakfast center is with the microwave and the sink inside. With a cockpit galley, hot plate, fridge, electrical system, you have the same amenities on that caddy that you have in any cruisers over 30 feet. Some features there interesting, a little kitchen, breakfast centers, microwave, sink, steel, the faucet, very nice, high quality lights. You can also control the radio from inside. Because of the proportion of the entire boat, we were able to have effectively a sleek look outside, low profile swim platform and so on. But still inside, a lot of space, a lot of room. I can really sit with 
full headrooms and it's definitely a very comfortable caddies. Something new and it's linked with the entire design of the boat. The TV system or the entertainment system is essentially a TV, a stainless steel mount and a DVD player is integrated. The TV is movable from inside to outside so you can watch TV in the cockpit and in the cabin. The S265 is um, offered standard with this cabin table made in bamboo. It's definitely match the rest of the boat. It's very simple and practical to use. You can turn the table and access different space inside the boat. Simple, easy to remove, easy to store, easy to make the bed. So when you create a boat with that small environment, you have to be creative, you have to be innovative. Let me show you a little details. You have an aft cabin, a very small room for kids. They can sleep there, they can go there to relax, to play with games. To access this area, we have developed a step concept, three positions. Position one, two, and three. Extremely simple to use, nice, clean, and at the same time, the step is a support for the deck. Many small details like this bamboo floor, bamboo steps, and you remember it's linked with a cockpit design. So you have this little bamboo element in the head, on the floor, and in the cockpit that really create that cruiser's feel that you get in this Owner's 265. The cabin of this 265 also offer a completely private head with a rigid door, aluminum frame, and it's very spacious in fact. So definitely something that will facilitate life on board and make the boat more comfortable. Now we have a bed. It's very easy to install. It takes about two, less than two minutes to fit all the cushions. It's pretty large all the beam of the boat at that level and certainly comfortable for two adults. You want to go to the restroom at night, no problem, you can tilt that up, flip the little pedestal and you have an access to the restroom. So yes it's a small compartment but again it's clever, it's easy to use, it's multifunctions and it will give you a real good place to stay a weekend at the lake, at the marina. The Sundowner 265 is also going to offer in two very exciting series, the Signature Series and the RS Series. The RS is a brand new concept for Four Winds in 2013, and honestly, it's a fantastic success. So I'm very excited to present this new S265 with these new packages that will jazz it up and create more excitement in our market. So this Sundowner 265 is the best of both worlds. It's an horizon design with the same dash, same style, same features, same look, very sexy lines. And at the same time, you have the cruiser's amenities, enclosed head, breakfast centers, hot plates, cockpit galleys, TV systems. So it's the best of both worlds. A good looking boat, very sexy, high performances, design oriented object, and the amenities of the cruiser. This good word, I wish you great summers. See you soon.